In today's video, we're going to show you how to get a really good Madden Ultimate Team player off the market for cheap. Guys, my name is Cody Bauer, and I make Madden 16 content, and I try to give you guys some advice and some of the things that I've learned to make you better at the game. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our Mutt Budget series, and in this series, we take a look at some players that aren't necessarily as highly rated, but are actually really effective uh, and, and can do some good things for your team. Um, you can, you know, like I said, you know, I like to do this because I don't have a lot of coins right now, uh, and I just spent a lot of money on some of my players, and uh, I just try to find these budget players to to, to get a decent team out on the field, um, and, and I've got one for you today that I think is really effective. Uh, it's the defensive side of the ball. We've been doing a lot of offensive sides of the ball, um, but today we're going to show a defensive side of the ball. Uh, and normally the tier, uh, especially for the beginning of the year, is the 70 to 79 range. Um, but if you go to type. Uh, I think he is a left end. Um, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Uh, and he's off, uh, you know, one of the better defensive teams in the last couple years, the 49ers. Uh, and it's Tank Carradine, okay? Uh, and his price has actually gone up a little bit. I actually got him for a little under uh, a thousand coins. Um, but you see here about 2,600 coins. Um, not too shabby, but let's look at his stats. Um, and when we look at his stats, we'll see why he is. Still a little bit of coin, but not really that much when you consider what all he can do for you. He's got 81 speed, 87 strength, 85 block shed, 96 power moves, 90 acceleration. Um, I mean, I don't think there's any other argument there. I mean, for a 78 overall player, uh, this might be one of the best defensive ends in the game. And let's compare him real quickly here uh, to just some of the, some of the higher rated uh, defensive ends that uh, are on the market right now and these are guys that you're gonna have to pay a little more coin for to get uh, but let's just compare it with someone like a Chris Long and I haven't even looked at any of this yet but here you see eight less less block shed less speed less tackling less power move uh, has a little more strength and one higher acceleration um, and he is going for 10,000 coins um, you know I think that makes all the argument right there here's Justin Tuck um, once again, less speed. He's got the same strength, way less block shed, way less power move, uh, and then one point lower finesse move. All around the board, Justin Tuck is much worse than Tank Carradine, and you see that he's going for 13,000 coins right now. And so you see that this is kind of what I'm getting at, you know, being smart with your purchases and being wise with your money on the m marketplace uh, is really essential to being good. Um, at, at Ultimate Team. Jeremiah Ratliff, uh, the younger player here, you see once again, lower than Tank Carradine in every single category, and he is going for 14,000 coins. Um, you know, I just think that, I mean, I really do, I, I really think that Carradine is a great option um, if you're looking to build a budget squad, uh, or if you're just looking to build a regular squad. I mean, he's better than most of these guys. I mean, 82 overall Neat Convention. Let's look at the statistics here. Ninkovich, 74 speed, 78 strength, lower and way lower in both categories, way lower in acceleration. He's got the same power moves, um, a little higher tackling, but again, I mean, he is way lower in every other category and 6,000 coins um, more expensive. And then Hayward here, um, these are all of those linemen in the next category, has a little higher strength, a little better block shed. A little, a little lower in the power moves, way lower in the speed and acceleration, um, and just a little higher tackling. And so you see again, this is just some of the things that I would appreciate, uh, or not appreciate, but just encourage you to look at uh, here with Dunlap. A little bit better in the pass rush, he moves, but you know, not quite as good in acceleration and speed and strength and block shed. As you see, the block shed is way lower than Carradine's. And so those are just some of the things that I would appreciate or encourage you to look at um, when you're looking at your mutt players, but. Overall, for my money, Tank Carradine uh, is the best mutt budget player uh, for the left end category uh, in Madden. And I, I really think he's one of the best left ends on the market. I think he's much better than any of the guys in the next tier, and he's probably even better than some of the guys in the following tier. But here you see that 81 speed, 87 acceler or strength, 90 acceleration, 96 power moves, 87 tackling, 85 block shutting. If you want to be better on Madden Ultimate Team, get Tank Carradine. You will not regret your purchase. All right, guys. To close the video, I just want to remind you that I am selling my eBooks uh, right now, and you can find those in the links in the description. We have an offensive eBook and a defensive eBook. Both are ten dollars, uh, and we also have a bundle that you can purchase for uh, fifteen dollars. 
And then also I am uh, selling my lab sessions if you guys want to check those out. Uh, those are a little bit more expensive, but they're private lab sessions with me, uh, and you can check those out in the description as well. So a lot of things going on with the channel, and I hope you, I just really encourage you to check some of that stuff out. You don't have to purchase it, but just check it out. Let me know what you think, and uh, I really appreciate that. So thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can get updated whenever we post some.